morning. May I meet you, please? I'm uh, by name Right Honorable Justice and Labour Promise, the Chief Judge of State General Government, FC2 Mose, and also the President Anglican Students, FC2 Mose. You're highly welcome. Yes, sir, thank please, you. can you brief us what is happening today? Okay, we are protesting peacefully against the marginalization of uh, Anglican students and every other non Catholic students in the college as regards to student union politics. The marginalization is too much on us and it is unbearable. So we have written to the management, we call the management, we call their attention. They told us that we can go to hell, that we should do our worst. And we reasoned and said, okay, since we have written to them and they said we should go to hell, let's do our worst. And that's what we are doing now. God bless you. The protest in court, is it peaceful or not? It Violent is, one? It is totally peaceful. We wrote to them and we are going for peaceful uh, protest. As you can see, there is no weapon with us. There is nothing with us here. We are just exercising our franchise. So far, what is their reaction right now? Right now? Okay, assistance now. I just came up for a, a meeting with the management. Assistance now. Our request has been granted. The election has been suspended. And uh, they have asked us to stop whatever protest we are doing so that they can address this issue properly. Okay, you're welcome. Yes, sir. Once again, what triggers you people to the call embarking on this protest? Uh, actually, uh, as the chief judge, I know what the constitution says. Okay. And I know the appropriate way to follow the issues. But what provoked me to the point of getting a lawyer is that we called the attention of the provost. In fact, as a matter of fact, 12, 12 to 3 a.m. this month, the provost called me on phone and was threatening me. She was telling me that she's not around now, that she go ahead and set the school of fire and all about that. When she comes back, she will know whether my certificate will still be available for me or not. Yeah, so that was what said I that was what triggered and I said, I'm ready to certify my certificate, but let's get things done the way it should be done in this college. This is higher institution for Canada now. And people should be allowed to exercise their rights. It is not Catholic higher institution. This is not school for Catholics alone. If it is, they should tell us. But we believe it's a better college of education and not a, 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 a missionary school. So if they want to turn it to missionary school, they should tell us. But since, but since they have addressed us and they have told us what is going to happen again, we are believing that they have cancelled the election and that's where we have stopped the protest. We are going back to our protest now. Via the student union government, what actually happened? Uh, a lot of things happens. A lot of things happen. Many things went wrong. And the appropriate office that is supposed to look into it has refused to look into it because it is against their own candidate. Okay, so, as we had the screening of the elections, we noticed that uh, bias segregation was done by disqualifying every other candidate except their candidate, which is the current NSS president, who by all indication has some marks on him, tattoo marks, which signifies that he may be a member of the secret court. So by right, he's not supposed to be qualified for the post. But because of this discrimination and uh, the, 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 so the tattoo in his body is indicating that he might be a courtist. So and by right, he should be uh, investigated before approving him as a candidate. So that was they disqualified every other denomination that came up on the post and uh, uh, returned this board unopposed. And we are saying no to unopposed presidential candidate. Yes. Yes. Is he the yes. first of his kind in this school? Not at all. No. No. Last year, this same thing happened. Last two years, it happened. That is what triggered us. Now, they are tired of unopposed presidential candidate in this city. Right now, what are those consequences that have been suffering? We have been suffering as a of to this uh, violation is uh, a reference point to our last uh, student week. On Monday, there was no activity. On Tuesday, no activity. Wednesday, we had a little one. Friday, Saturday, nothing was done because the presidential candidate, by all indication, is under the ambit of the management. And there is nothing he can do because, as a person, he is incompetent on the post. So one of the uh, result of unopposed government is that it will end up producing incompetent personalities to help to hold such uh, critical offices. So we suffered it in our student week, uh, uh, student week. Nothing was done. The fund that was supposed to have was not given to them. And many funds squandered. Fine. What is the appropriate request of you and your colleagues right away? Okay. I, I pers before now, I personally demanded from the state of affairs to address all these issues before the election. This is not about to address this. She called me to her office and was threatening me. So we are saying to them that our request is this. The election should be stopped and then it should be addressed before the continuation. And then if by chance every candidate of presidential whatever is disqualified, chance should be given to strength to pick form again. Yeah. And then yes. produce the best candidate instead of giving us unopposed presidential candidates. You're welcome. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. No. Um, the president, the chief judge, I must say kudos to you.
and uh, to your colleagues that have decided that solidarity must prevail in Federal College of Education Technical Umuze. Kudos to every one of you. The only thing we pray is that it's highly time to abolish anything incapable leadership in the school. It's highly time actually to say no to everything non-capable or gauge leadership to student union government. In all ramifications, we've seen all we've been doing, but tamper justice with mercy and calm down. Let there be peace. Uh, what's happening here right away? To the student of Federal College of Education Technical, we came out on a peaceful protest against the current happening in the Federal College of Education Technical, Omoze, attending our student union government. What actually is the vote of contention in that student union government that prompted you to come now here? The vote of contention won on opposed government, especially in the presidential candidates. Hello, good morning. How are you? So, why are you here today? Because of what is happening in the NCG seat, what they are doing here. We are not, we are not supporting what, are, what is going on today. We are not supporting the issue of the, uh, the presidential, the SUG president being on. There must be an opening here. That is why you are just testing. Uh, you mean that it's not only one person that vowed for that position? Yes. It's not supposed to be one person. There must be two or three. Because they have to do an election. They must contest the election. You have to know the people that are contesting. It's not only one person that will put there, or they will put one person in the name of being selected. You don't need selection. You want election. You don't need selection in this school. There will be no more selection. Since uh, over the past few years of three, they are being selected. Uh, they are doing selection in that school. Uh, this year 290, we want election, we don't need election. That is true. And even the welfare, the welfare, they have been honored. We don't want that to be uh, I am comrade of Barack Mississippi. Uh, anyway, as a matter of fact, we feel thus far how uh, the government of this institution has been going so far. You know, what we talk about is politics. It is a matter of interest and choice. You see, and you don't you don't disseminate any candidates that wants to perform as far as politics is concerned. We call it franchise. So you don't disenfranchise students. So, but it is what we observe thus far in our institution, Federal College of Education, Technical Homeless. The student union government is becoming something else we couldn't be at anymore. The segregation has gone so high to the moment we couldn't, you know, see, the, thing, the thing is very unbearable for our mindset. You know, some students that has been uh, estrangized out of the uh, a contest so far without giving us evidence of what could have been the issue why they were out of the contest. So, therefore, we said no to that. And our mindset low so high that we trace to contest this money. So that's our decision to contest this morning. Let's say no to such an anomen. It is a man. I call it anomen because it's very bad. Secularism is, you know, something very, very I, I, I say it's dangerous uh, as far as the issue is concerned. Some having a student are not given a full opportunity to come to some position. Now, but the actions proves what we are saying today. You see, a theorist says something. I am referring to a theorist called Niccolo Machiavelli. I'm a political science student, so I have to go You can't bring in morality in politics. And therefore, that's what we are putting on right away. Religion has caused much harm. A, a, a normal human being would be able to sense it, even without being told what is happening. You must have to sense it with your own mindset. When we would be able to figure out what is happening, and related to what happened last year, such a thing of beyond this day, as, as if it is a particular religion that owns the, instit that owns the institution. So it is another very bad of it. This is the people that we are uh, as we guys out of the contest. Some of them are Anglicans, I see some Pentecostals and other government bodies. 
when you go there, the majority of them have been Catholic, Roman Catholics. And I view it as a religious act. Good morning, young man. Good morning. May I meet you, please? Yeah, my name is Okolis Bezer Francis from School of Sciences, Chemistry Society. Faber Claude Frenchman, is that right? Yes. Wow. Okay, they disqualified me with no evidence because I disagreed to stay with them and I disagreed to join them. That's why they disqualified me. With them, join them who in quotes? Catholic members, NFCS, precisely. Are you a Catholic at all? I'm a Catholic. But you're not among the board and. Yes, I'm not among the board NFCS and I don't support their motion. Do you mean that NFCS has been the group of governing the SUG? They have been governing this school more than seven years ago. You're welcome. And Why are they not capable to select the leaders, the leaders of the SUG, functionaries there, from one section of the region, that is Roman Catholic, to the NYSCF. NYCA, that is Roman Catholic. They make selection. They don't do what I call election. Okay, you're welcome. In that aspect, and you're vying for SUG position, right? Yes. What is your interest? My interest is the position of SUG president. Okay, fine. What is your, your, your intention to achieve as SUG president if you go there? My intention, there are two. Students' welfare and students' rights. Students' rights. Well, yes. Okay, you're welcome. Via the past election, like you said, past government, how capable are they? Uh, are they? Well, I will tell you, they are incapable. They are in very incapable. Why? Because they were selected through one section of the church, the Roman Catholic. NYS, NY, that is Roman Catholic. Okay, right now, the protest, ongoing protest right now, exists. Is it violent or peaceful protest? It is a very clear, peaceful protest. What is the agitation? The agitation is to stop the marginalization of Anglicans. For the management to stay clear out of students' politics and the SUG election. That is the agitation. That is the reason for the protest. You are welcome. Yes. I don't think because of the violation of the Anglicans. I'm agitating because of the injustice going on in the coalition. Like what is the injustice in quotes? The removal of the candidates. For no okay. The Anglican candidates. The Anglican candidates. They removed them for just no cause. No, no, for no just cause. You're welcome. So what are you telling the public world? I'm telling the public that they should come to our rescue. We are tired. They've been governing us. They've been in the power. The NFCS precisely. In the college, it meant that anybody that is an NFCS president automatically becomes the president. And it's not supposed to be. I am a political science student. We are meant to practice a real politics. We, the students, are not given the right to come out and vote who we want to go there for. I'm Reverend Tochuku Akebobi. And by the grace of God, the chaplain of the Anglican Chapel of Ascension. Federal College of Education Technical Rooms. Okay, and um, the students of the college recently took to the streets to protest the discrimination and the racism against uh, the election. Will you tell us your, what you have to say about it? Uh, well, um, I think um, the matter, the issue started since last year, or it has been happening anyway, let me put it this way, because something happened last year. Uh, to the best of my knowledge, I've been in this school for roughly six years, so I'm not a new person in the environment. The way elections are conducted in this school, permit me to say that it is abnormal. It is wrong. If the management wants the student to have their election, they should separate themselves from the, from the students. Let the students play their politics. And the church should also separate themselves from the, from the student politics. So too many things have been happening in this college. What they call election, personally, I call it selection. Last year, it will interest you to know that last year, there was uh, about uh, seven offices were unopposed. President was inclusive and other vital offices. And I want to ask you a question, is that, is that an election? It's not an election, come to think of it. Now, and also the, 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 the president, the outgoing president, let me put it this way, the outgoing president did not even buy the form for the president. He bought the form for secretary. 
after the presidents were disqualified, they now manipulated and maneuvered him into the presidency. And that was why he came on unopposed. And then the same thing is about to repeat itself this year. So the students say, no, enough is enough. In fact, when the matter, sorry to digress a little bit, when this thing happened last year, some aggrieved students from different other denominations came to me. But that was the time we had a new provost. I calmed them. I said, let there be no trouble. Let us not start the, uh, the, the, the uh, let the provost not assume his office with trouble and chaos. So I pleaded with them to calm down. Let them, since the election has been conducted, let them just allow it to be. And then the same thing wants to repeat itself. To start with, there was something, electoral process was wrong because there were petition written by the chief judge of the school and I was copied. So too many things are wrong. Now, wherever a child is crying and is pointing out, if his father is not there, his mother ought to be there. So I'm thinking that the students are tired of selection, tired of uh, a particular denomination imposing leadership on them. They want the real thing to be done. I'm not particular about whoever that emerges. I'm not interested whether it's an Anglican, Roman Catholic, or Pentecostal, but let the proper process be followed. That's my interest. And if this is done, you, you will see that peace will be enhanced in the college. Let me just stop here. Uh, students are complaining that uh, a particular denomination, a Catholic to be precise, uh, has been dominating the major post, of, post in the SUG. What do you have to say about this? Of course, it is, a, it is crystal clear. I'm this college for six years. It has been happening. There is a proper manipulation, marginalization, segregation, victimization, intimidation of other denominations. In fact, it is, the way it is in this school seems to be that if you are the NFCS president, you automatically become the SUG president. That is the problem. Nobody is against a church bringing out a candidate. But imposing it, the leader on people, it is wrong. Okay, some of these Roman Catholics come to me. They are interested in a particular post. They will tell them, don't come out to vote. Don't come out to contest because we have already got a contestant in this office. Is it what it's supposed to be? People should allow to exercise their enfranchise. So they will now bring out all the, nine, the 11 or 12 offices and then, then, and then mandate and demand that, other, and, uh, uh, that the people should not vie for any other thing. They have already selected the people that will go. Last year, key offices were unopposed. In a, okay, in an election, where in, in, in an office where you have 12 offices, 9 or 10 of them were Roman Catholics. I mean, think of it. This is wickedness to the highest order. It's not all about denomination. That is not my interest. But let it be done the right way. Let people go and contest it. Let people go and contest it. Whoever that wins, let him take the, 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 the let, whoever the cap, if you let him wear it. I'm not interested. My interest is people are agitating, aggrieved over many wickedness being committed, injustice done to other denominations. I don't want to go for that. But if you want me to go for that, I know from this time this school began, SUG president has never been another denomination. In 2012, in the days of one boy called Abuchi, the boy was winning the election. Management intervened and they canceled the election. Denied the masses the choice, their own choice. That led to suspension of many Anglicans, led to suspension of even the candidates. Some were expelled, some were given, dropped by one year. I mean, for how long? The students are, they said they, they are tired of it. Forget this protest you are seeing here, it is not only the Anglicans that are doing the protests. Many agree, even some Roman Catholics who are not happy at what is happening are part of the, uh, of the protest. So we need to speak out to say that evil is evil, no matter who commits it. Okay, would you say that the management is doing anything to stem this, uh, to correct these anomalies? Well, I don't know for now. All I know is that uh, as at the time the protest started, the management was insisting that the election will hold on. But thank God, information reaching me is that they have uh, stepped down.